Oh, hi guys. So long time no see. So I'm going to make up for my missed video by doing a double video, um, which is kind of like cheating, but you get to see my pretty face, so it's not. So I'm going to do the Harry Potter tag. Um, I didn't actually look up the tag. I just wrote down all of Jesse's answers, so I'm just going to go off that one. So my favorite book in the series, I, know, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I love Seven. I am sorry. I am all for the Deathly Hallows. I love the camping. I can't get enough of the camping. Sorry. Um, and my least favorite, I really didn't like Goblet of Fire. I, I know that it has this really great message of magical unity and you get to meet Victor Crumb and he's just a whole bunch of fun, but I just didn't really enjoy four. Um, parts that make me cry, quite a few. Uh, basically the like last hundred pages of um, Order of the Phoenix, uh, that one makes me cry a lot. Um, God, so many moments I just weep. Um, Malfoy's mom, she makes me weep in book seven. Um, when Hermione in the movie, she says, you know, I'll go with you when she knows what Harry's about to do. Yeah, that one gets me. Um, God, I don't know. I could ramble on and on. I cry all the time. The whole time. The whole time. Um, Twilight versus Harry Potter. Yeah, that's a weird, that's a weird thing to ask. Um, moving on. Um, which character would I hook up with? Oh, okay. Oliver Wood. Right. Um, favorite character? I know this is cliche, but I really like Hermione. I'm sorry. The girl uses her books, but she uses her book smart like to apply to real life problems, which is cool and what I try to get my kids to do. And Hermione's on my wall and she says, you know, books and cleverness. And I'm sorry. I, I know it's cliche. I know. I don't, I don't know what my Patronus would be. I want to say like a unicorn just because I want to be like a special snowflake, but I don't know. It could be something really boring. Like what if my Patronus is just like A rabbit or something I don't know how do we how do we determine these things like I don't know <sighs> um, and if I had the choice of the Deathly Hallows like I really want to say I'd take the cloak but no I'd take the wand i sorry <laughs> could be like uh, make this dress fit me perfectly <sighs> and then I'm all my tailoring needs would be taken care of um, Parts that I was upset were left out of the movie. Oh, Dumbledore's funeral. For me, that was another part where I'm just weeping and weeping and weeping and Harry has to break up with Ginny because in the books they had like an actual relationship and didn't just like awkwardly make out on the couch. Um, so that really got me. What house would I be in? Slytherin. Um, <laughs> that's what the sorting hat said when it sat atop of my head. Uh, not that many moons ago. A couple years ago. And I don't think that's really changed. Um, favorite subject? I would probably be divination, let's be honest. I would love me some divination. All that crystal balls and tea leaves. Ooh, yeah. Um, favorite professor would probably be Trelawney because she'd be wacky. Um, but again, I would like that McGonagall is like hardcore and really works you. Um, which cast member would I want to meet? <sighs> I guess I, I'm going to go with Maggie Smith too because... <laughs> Dude, she's Maggie Smith. Spell. Uh, yes. A a Axio, Accio. Yeah, all the time. Accio remote. Accio food. Accio cell phone. Accio pants. All day long. It would just be me all day long. Um. Oh, I don't, I can't read what I wrote down here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to skip that one. Uh, what position would I play if I were a Quidditch team? No, I'd be a spectator. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. Are you crazy? Like throw flying bowling balls at your face? No, thank you. Um, was I satisfied with the ending? Yes. Uh, and no. I mean, I didn't want it to end. Um, but I mean, I the, the Neville Luna thing does bug me a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it's cool. I don't have any, like, glaring complaints. And then what does it mean to me? Oh, okay. See, a lot, and it, pro I'm, uh, <laughs> a lot, right? Growing up, you had this, like, 
strong female character who used her brains and I really admired that and growing up that really affected me and I also I'm never gonna get over you know happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light right like I I got Lumos tattooed on my arm because that clearly that notion means a lot to me um, and I think it's always going to right I'm an eternal optimist so clearly that really rings true to me um, so anyway, I, I could gush on and on about Harry Potter all day, um, but I won't because I'm going to eat and go to bed. But <laughs> um, bye, guys. <laughs>